what's up with the squad back with another video i see and the title was going down definitely i check this video out much love to everybody uh <clears throat> sharing these videos liking these videos commenting on these videos emailing me videos all of that definitely appreciate y'all for that make sure y'all go check out doug and exile in the description box down below let's get a video y'all whoopi has gone mad as they try to defend hunter biden and watch how many times they end up admitting that he's guilty 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 they're practically arguing with themselves. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug. How could one person defend him? That's 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 crazy. Example, this is where the happy patriots are. And, and one thing about it, my dad, my dad is a, a Democrat. My dad's a Democrat. Uh, a lot of y'all know that uh, from the people that seen the lives and stuff like that. And he isn't even defending uh, Hunter. So, yeah, can't wait to see this video. So let's have some fun. But, you know, yesterday, the House Republicans, poor things, <laughs> public enemy number one, Hunter Biden, spoke out to defend the attacks on his family and make his case about testifying in public rather than behind closed doors. Take a look. In the depths of my addiction, I was extremely irresponsible with my finances. This is the Biden's big plan of poor Hunter the addict. That's the excuse for everything. It's their get out of jail free card. It's like, we didn't do anything. It's all Hunter. He's crazy addicted. There's no evidence to support the allegations that my father was financially involved in my business because it did not happen. He did not show up for the investigation. And that's what they're investigating is to find out if it happened. And they have their ideas because there's lots of evidence out there. But you, it's very hard to find the evidence when you have the Department of Justice doing a massive cover-up through David Weiss, that is Merrick Garland's chief prosecutor, who's been covering up for Hunter Biden. So when the House Republicans were asked to explain <laughs> exactly why they were voting to start an impeachment inquiry into the president, they just seemed to have a hard time with this. Take, take a look. What is the specific constitutional crime that you're investigating? Well, we're having an inquiry so we can do an investigation and okay. control the production of witnesses. And, and what is the and, crime and, you're investigating? And documents. <laughs> high crimes, misdemeanors, and bribery. What high crime and misdemeanor are you investigating? So the Republican answers his question. High crimes and misdemeanors. This is an impeachable offense. And he goes, but what crimes? Well, we just gave you one. What's a high crime and misdemeanor? You don't like the answer doesn't mean he didn't answer. Was, Did you I, think, I think dude is not trying to lose his job. Because I'm so tired of people defending BS. I'm, I'm so tired of people defending BS. And that's that's what bugs me. It bugs me because it's like, bruh, like, you y'all y'all literally know what 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 things are going on, what's said, what's done. And you defend it. You just at this point, you just you just not trying to lose your job. You're just trying to do whatever it takes to you know keep things flowing. You had about five years to check out what you were going. to... They had five years on Hunter Biden, but David Weiss under Merrick Garland sat on all of these investigations. He eternally investigated until the statute of limitations ran out ran out on most of the most egregious Hunter Biden uh, lack of paying taxes. There's all kinds of his crimes that they cannot prosecute now because of the statute of limitations. You know, listen, you can say a lot of things about the Democrats, but they knew what they were. They knew what they were going in for. Yeah. High crimes and misdemeanors. You couldn't name one. High crime, 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 high crime and misdemeanor. They named one and they had five years to do it, but it was blocked. That's what this whole thing is about. These people are not paying attention. The Biden impeachment investigation isn't a who done it. It's a what is it? It's like an <laughs> Agatha Christie novel where the mystery is what's the crime? And that gets very tedious very fast. And he's absolutely right. It's not the way that you prosecute cases. It's not the way that you investigate cases. No, it was a massive cover up. That's why it's not a what's the crime. It's a where's the crime because it's being buried and hidden. I personally think Hunter Biden should have complied with the congressional subpoena. Correct. He's guilty of that. That's not a big risky statement to say he should. See, if y'all watched my video yesterday, <clears throat> y'all see in the video, I said it's one of those things where 
it's kind of like when you're trying to defend somebody, you're trying to sound right, but you really know what it is and it just comes out of your mouth. They literally are saying what's wrong. Just like Doug said, they basically saying that he's guilty, but they trying to like, like it, should if you listen to the word subpoena, would any one of us get away with blowing off a subpoena? No. Hunter Biden, yes, I think he's engaged in corruption. I do think that the charges against him by the Department of Justice are very serious. I have not seen one shred of evidence that it's tied to Joe Biden. Okay, here's the shred of evidence that's tied to Joe Biden. Here's a $200,000 check written from Sarah and Jim Biden, James Biden, to Joseph R. Biden for $200,000. And down at the bottom, it says for a loan repayment, though there's no evidence, there's no record of a loan. So it's not being repaid. This is a payout in March of 2018. That's evidence, Miss Griffin. Here's another check. This one's for $40,000. Again, from the Bidens. Now you have hard evidence. So keep saying you have no evidence that it's tied to Joe Biden. Yeah. Joe Biden's and crime is being Hunter Biden's father. And, and being Hunter Biden's yeah. very loving father, yeah. very good father, yeah. very supportive father. Well, it is true. I almost spit out my water. She just said, what, bro? Joe yeah. Biden's crime is being Hunter Biden's father. And, and being Hunter Biden's yeah. very loving father, yeah. very good father, yeah. very supportive father. Well, it is true. Bro, see, I feel like I feel like it's all for a show. This all literally has to be for a show because I don't get it. How'd you do that, bro? Show out. We got a Frenchie puppy. Dude really just fell out his bed. I don't even know, like. He just fell out of his bed. Now he's just staring at me. True that his crime is being the son of Joe Biden because he was peddling influence of his daddy because no one wanted to hire this drug addict who had no experience with dealing with Ukraine, with Russia, with China. That he had no business expertise that they would want to pay for other than he was Joe Biden's son. So correct. Now on calling him a loving daddy, Joe Biden, I don't know of a parent in the world that would exploit their son's drug addiction to use it as a cover up so that there's all excuses are covered with that saying, look, he's a bro. She just said good dad, supportive dad. She just made this man sound like he's just the best person in the world. That is crazy to me. Dude, it, like, I'm, I'm confused because it's like, do you not see what is going on in the United States right now? I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. And I see why people say they don't watch. I, I see why. I, I can see why. Uh, addicted son. No parent is loving enough to exploit their kid the way Jill Biden and Joe Biden did. Did Hunter Biden influence pedal on his last name? Yes, he did. Thank you. The view just now nailed the whole thing. He influenced pedal on his last name. That is access to Joe Biden. There's no other reason to pay Hunter Biden. And the view just admitted it guilty. They're arguing against themselves. Thanks for providing evidence against yourself. Anna. Uh, did Hunter Biden cheat like, on his taxes? Yes, he did. Guilty. Watching this is, I think, is messing, messing me up. It's messing me up as a person. Individual. And it's like you're trying to fight it. You're trying to fight it. Because it's like, Y'all saying everything that they're doing wrong, that he's doing wrong, but still trying to back it up like it's okay. Like, what is, like, I, it's like it's confusing. It's, it's real Cheated confusing. Cheated on his taxes, right but covered up by the Department of Justice so the statute of limitations could run out on his most, the worst crimes. Did he use his last name to make money? To mo Did he monetize on Joe Biden's last name? Yes, he did. Again, guilty. Thank you, Anna. Admitting guilt. That's what this whole thing is about. So the Republicans have a case. That's not a crime. It's a high crime and misdemeanor to if Joe Biden, who made money, you saw the checks made out already. That's hard evidence. And they were peddling his in his name and his influence. They have Joe Biden going to lunch with members of the Chinese Communist Party. 
and then hours later deciding things in their favor. Same thing with Ukraine. Hunter Biden is an addict. I've had it in my family. It is a constant suffering for the family. No, it's not a constant suffering for the Bidens. They love it. They use it to cover up for their son. They wish he was still addicted. They are trying to get Hunter Biden to go back into addiction because they know that will paralyze Joe Biden. No, it will help Joe Biden. She's saying the Republicans are trying to get Hunter Biden back into addiction. And that is insane, of course, and a really bad take. Because all the evidence shows that his his addiction has benefited the Bidens by being the catch-all excuse. Things when he was an addict, but enough is enough, and they are being cruel, and they are being and they are going after him just because he is Joe well, Biden's son. It's a waste of time. The ceremonial procedures Money they're doing too. here. Investigate by all means. If you find things in crime, go for it. I don't mind. They're trying to investigate. They're trying to subpoena. I really. And like, like this is crazy. Like, y'all, <clears throat> I've I've seen clips from the view. I've seen clips from the view. I've reacted to Doug's videos of clips from the view. But as I'm watching this and watching more and more clips, it's like, who could literally like who who is? I want to know. I don't know how it works. Like when you have like the the Doctor Phil shows and these different like TV shows and stuff like that. Um, how much you got to pay and, you know, um, that's that's the question. How much are people paying to, to you know, go there and see this show? Who's going to see this show? Are they paying people to go see this show? Because it's like, what is, like, I'm trying to figure out. Like, I, I know I'm not the smartest person, but, like, how could you sit there and literally listen to it? Like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand. Pina, how Hunter do you sit there and listen to To it? get information, but it's blocked. They're trying to get eyewitness testimony, but the DOJ is blocking it, covering it up through David Weiss and Merrick Garland. You're making the Republicans case. It's like, guys, you, five years, seven years you had. You can't even find a laptop now. Whose fault is that, Whoopi? Dad, we have a problem. I left my laptop at the repair shop. And Joe looks at him and says, what's on it, son? What's on it? And Hunter looks back and he says, every single crime that you've ever committed, Dad. I hope you guys will subscribe if you like this kind of... Man, make sure I hit the like button, subscribe. But in this video, I'm telling y'all, like, this video just goes to show how people think. How some people, y'all know the people I'm talking about, how people think about the whole situation. Knowing that it's wrong, you still try to defend it and cover it up. I don't get it, y'all. Make sure y'all comment down below. Let me know y'all thoughts on this video. Definitely appreciate y'all. Make, y'all, make sure y'all check out Doug Exile. Make sure y'all also uh, email me or DM me on Instagram. My email is lifewithreckless at yahoo.com. And my Instagram is just lifewithreckless. But I uh, definitely appreciate everybody tuning in and watching this reaction. Catch y'all next one.